Hey there, everybody. This is Matt with Technoax Royalty Free Music. How are you guys doing? First of all, happy 2018 to you. This is my official Happy New Year's to you. It's a little late, but, uh, you know, better late than never. And uh, the year is still young. But anyways, I wanted to... I'm going to be my own George Lucas here. And that's... I, I keep trying to remaster some of my old stuff. So, but I, uh, before I... I'm not going to like push new tracks of old tracks into your sub back boxes. I'll explain a little bit later, but um, first I want to basically highlight this song right here. It's Simple Metal. It's actually one of my most popular tracks here. It came out of nowhere. I, I uh, wrote, I produced this song in late October of 2013, about five years ago. Well, four and a half actually. Didn't really expect much of it, but lo and behold, it's uh, one of my more popular tracks. But I'm going to let you listen to um, a minute of this song right here, and then I'm going to bring in a remastered version to see what you guys think. So here's the original song right here. So that's the original right there. And now we're going to play a remastered version and we'll see what you think. Okay, so that's the remastered version of that track right there. And to me, it sounds a lot better than the original. Number one, because the 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 drums are a lot clearer in the mix. Um, it's not the 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 drums are not basically muffled by everything else. And so what what I did is um, back in the day in 2013, I didn't really have a mastering suite first of all and i and later on like the next year i got that kind of thing and i tried to apply it to the rest of my tracks and i tried to do some kind of like a remastering series that um that went on for about half a year maybe about three-fourths of a year um before i gave up on it um and I think what I failed to realize is I didn't really know how to use that software. And plus there were other things that I needed to do. Uh, maybe I was a little lazy in my mixing and um, my EQing and um, applying effects to make things sound good. But uh, um, so like I gave up on it because I also felt that I was like basically, you know, clogging your 
sub box with like music every day and everything like that. And uh, even more so because like this, you know, the remastering took only maybe an hour or so. And, and this actually, this remaster did not actually take that long at all. Not at all. But now that I know what to do, I, I've, I'm, I, I can basically just like um, crank out, you know, I can, I can go to where I need to go and fix the things that I needed to do. So number one, I added obviously the isotope ozone that I've been, uh, it's been a mainstay in my production for a while now. Although I've like stripped out like the, I used to use presetting presets to do um, isotope ozone remastering and stuff like that. <clears throat> but instead, uh, instead now I just use a basic rock uh, mastering and I just, I, I utilize uh, the EQ and do my own EQing. I do my own like settings and I, I set the, uh, the four band equalizer the way I want. So it's, it sounds a lot better. In addition to that, I've learned how to duck my bass and my kick and my, um, my snare. So, um, it's a lot, it's a lot clearer. And also, uh, um, I did buy native instruments complete, uh, in September, which cost me an arm and a leg, but my God, it's, it's worth it. It's really worth it. It's like, um, it, there's a, an effect there called transient master, which like, it adds to the punch there, and also a uh, a very comp too, a compressor that basically um, ups the um, the uh, the the general punch of the track and everything. Um, and in addition, I did replace the drum set. If you can hear, uh, it's probably sounds a, a little different in both composition and instrumentation there because I basically reprogrammed the drum track in that particular instance. I may not do that. If I, if I go ahead with remastering these tracks, um, I may, um, uh, do that or I may just keep the, the, the original tracks depending on what I feel like is best for that specific music track. Um, but, uh, um, I also, I'm not sure I want to put this into your sub box. If you, it, you know, I don't want to go through another session of like cramming your sub boxes full of remasters before I actually come up with stuff that's new. So, um, what I, I, what I can do is I'll put this link in the description below. This is actually already on Spotify. So if you want to listen to it now for free, if you, you know, it's, it's, uh, in Spotify, it's also in like iTunes, uh, Apple Music, I guess. Um, a lot of different platforms that comes under uh, Ditto Music is what I'm posting under now. So, yeah. So that's that's the overall thing. There's another um, issue that I'm kind of working through, and that is I'm I've been slowly taking my my albums, my bulk albums off of TuneCore. Because um, over the years I've been posting so many of them that, uh, and, and I had had so many that I had to maintain that fifty dollars a pop, like fifty dollars a year for each album uh, that I had um, became kind of like a cost prohibitive thing. You know, it cost too much. Whereas with the Ditto uh, music. Uh, you can't post 99 track albums, but you can post 20 track albums and as many singles as you want for a flat fee. So uh, it's a little bit of a better deal for me because uh, I don't pay through the nose to keep my music posted. The only disadvantage is, well, you can look at this as a good thing or a bad thing. The bad thing is that I would have to repost every single one of these tracks that I um, I took off of like, you know, tune core, but it does present, prevent me. Uh, it does present me with an opportunity to, you know, make the track sound better. Like, uh, you know, I think simple metal remaster right here sounds, sounds way better. I mean, it's, uh, I, I think it's a lot clearer, a little bit more professional, 
But uh, I'd like to hear from you guys to see what you guys think. Um, and yeah, that's that's what I've been doing. Also, I hope you guys have liked the music so far in January. I haven't done as much, but um, I'm trying to maybe focus on quality. Um, uh, every year I end up producing an ungodly amount of music tracks, and maybe sometimes... I feel like the music quality sometimes suffers, um, but uh, you know, other times I come up with good things. But I would like to like knock it out of the park each and every time that I I, I come up to the plate here this year. So hopefully, that's a big uh, tall order. But hopefully, I'd be able to do this in in the entire year of two thousand and eighteen. But uh, yeah, that's what I've got. Uh, let me know what you think in the comments below. And uh, Happy New Year once again. I'll see you guys next time.